I swam the, the 400 IM was my primary event. I, I would be lapped by, lapped or almost lapped by a lot of these guys here, but, but still I, I have a lot of appreciation for that event, so that was a fun one to call yesterday. I'm Andy Hart. I went to Carleton College, graduated several years ago in 2013, and then I coached for a couple years at the University of St. Thomas, which is also near here, both those small Division III Mayak schools. And um, since then, I've been in, in grad school here at the U in the math department. And this broadcasting recently, it's been a very recent development, but it's been a way for me to keep in swimming. I haven't, I didn't kind of expect for it to get to this point. I've got to say, about a month ago, my old coach, Andy Clark, the Carlton head coach, he emailed me and said like, oh, the Mayak needs a commentator. Do you want to send an email and apply for it? And I'm like, sure, like I'm right here. And so I did it, it was great. And then I finished and it was, it was a lot of fun. And the Big Ten was coming up and it was here and I was like, hey, I wonder if they need somebody for it. So I show up or, or I, I email them and the guy's like, oh, yes, we really need someone. We don't have anybody commentating this meet. <laughs> so they, they didn't, they clearly didn't check anything to see if I was a decent person at all. And before I had, before, before I had even done the first session of Big Tens, the guy meets me, he kind of shakes my hand and says, oh, by the way, we might need you for nationals as well. So, so the Big Tens, that was an exciting experience. And I did one of the sessions with David Plummer, which was a lot of fun. He was, he is a very knowledgeable guy. He knew a ton about swimming. NCAs came around. I wasn't really sure if they'd have me do it, but they, but they did. And so uh, David hasn't been here, but a couple of the sessions I've been able to work with my old Carlton teammate Andrew Seeley. So Andrew is the one who has the, the radio voice on the broadcast with me and he kind of saved the Dressel 1763 call by actually calling out the time at the end. So, so Andrew works for a small TV station. He's a weekend anchor for a small TV station in Eau Claire, Wisconsin, and he's hoping to kind of break into this sort of thing. Well, given what some of them say about Rowdy Gaines, I'm not sure whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. I guess the, the thing is, um, it's, it's a whole different thing. I think one reason that I my commentary and, and Andrew's commentary has clicked with the Swim Swam crowd is because we are the Swim Swam crowd, right? That's a website that I frequent and a website that Andrew was, he was literally scrolling through it during the commentary. I have no idea how he could focus on the races, but we, um, we, were, we were preaching to the choir there and what Rowdy does is a lot different because he's able to involve a whole lot of different sorts of people and so that's something that at least at my current experience level I wouldn't necessarily be able to do. I'm, I'm definitely interested in, in doing more if, if that opportunity arises. I haven't really been planning on it. Again, I'm, I'm in grad school, like I've got stuff going on, but um, yeah, I think Andrew and I both kind of had a blast and if other opportunities arise, like, like heck, after this I might as well send someone an email again.